Hello everyone, this is King Kone LT. This video, I will show you a solution that use FTTT command for the CLB logic controller. This time, you can do these actions for loop mode, just always running. And now, I will use the switch panel uh, connect with the analog input, not for the digital input. So we can detect the analog input of the switch on and off, uh, just I have connect with a battery. So we can input a voltage. The different voltage, you can use FTD command to do the different FTD command. So I will tell you how to do with it. And also I have used a temperature sensor. We can do a FTD command for the loop mode. Okay, let's look at the compute. Uh, before we use the loop mode, you need to update the new freeware for V1.9 version. And then you can open your PC software of serial B. And I have used the Ethernet, the Ethernet IP and the port, uh, just like this IP and this port, have connect with my controller. And also you can go to this button and setting the temperature value and the analog value. This means just the temperature changed 0.1 send grid, uh, the FTD command, and the state will be uploaded. Uh, just I have enabled the auto report function. And this means the analog, if have changed for 0.1 volt, the state will be updated. So this is the value when the state is updated uh, for the temperature and uh, for the analog. And if the digital input uh, not needed to set the value, just any change from open to close or from close to open, the state will all update. Now I have connect with the temperature sensor, uh, just uh, use this temperature sensor. This is my temperature in my room. And this is the input, analog input. This is analog input, now is zero. I have configured this for the mini size is the zero and the max is five volt. So I can detect the what of the analog input one so you can see the temperature is changed and now i can tell you how to do with the temperature sensor just turn on relay one and turn off relay one and you can just uh, set any logic you can go to this ftdt function and i can use this edit number one ftdd command we can choose the temperature uh, just like this unit. If the temperature is greater than 30 centigrade, add to if. And the command, we just click the then command. And the delay one, we can choose open and add. And we can add a delay time, like just one second. And now we can let relay one close and add. And also you can add at delay time and let relay 2 open and at that delay time let the relay 2 is close yet and the most important is this cycle time this time you can choose from 1 to 254 uh, this is the times will repeat but the new freeware if you input the 225 that means always running and uh, never stop so we can sele select this 255 and let it always running we just uh, apply and you can see as uh, the the command have sent successfully and we can go to the monitor and we can detect uh, this temperature sensor i let the temperature uh, become up i hold on on my hand you can see the temperature it become 29 if greater than 30 okay you can see it's the relay is on if always greater than 30 this relay is controlled relay one on and off and relay two on and off uh, you can see this red led and i remove my hand let the temperature down. If the temperature is not less than 30 degrees, 
I will always loop uh, running the FTD command. Okay, now let's begin how to use the analog input for the switch panel. We can test the voltage and we can see the volt 3.23 volts of the batch. Because our analog input supports 0 to 5 volts, so I have connect with the volt, the power line from this spot. If this spot is pressed, and you can see uh, the window software, uh, you can see this is uh, 3.2 volt, so it's very good the value. And I close, uh, you can see uh, the value is changed. Turn on the switch and then turn off the switch. So we can use the different voltage. If you have three button, you can use this is greater than one volt or this is 3 volt, or this is uh, 4 volt. So you can use one analog input uh, running for different 3 version or more version of the uh, FTTT command. Uh, so this is used the uh, one channel for different switch, but you just let get a power supply and let the switch output to the analog channel. So we can see how to, I can define the FTTT command. I can defined in number two and edit. So this time we can use the analog input. So analog input, I'm using a three volt, so I can use a two volt. If great, then two volt. Add to if, and then the relay, we can see uh, just uh, for a test, I can use the talking. I just uh, change the state, add. And at the delay time, uh, one second, and the talking again, add to talking again, and add the delay time. I just add you as you need, need it, just add the command to the them command. And also I can change to the 20, uh, 225, I just running always, and I never stop. So I can apply and uh, click the minute. And this time you can see, I press the button, button is off, uh, so it's not running. So I can press the button. It detects the voltage is greater than 2 volt. So we're always running. Just like this, always running. I can edit it, let it become quickly, you can see the easily. Now I can change this settings, let you see easily. Uh, we can set this to 0 0.1 seconds. Just uh, press the key, hold down 0 0.1 seconds will be triggered the FTD command. So we can delete this one and uh, add this if command. So this time just uh, for 0 0.1 seconds. And uh, just uh, talking, the relay one, no any delay. So I can also is running all the time. Uh, 255 and apply and this time you can see I press the button uh, it will be quickly so you can create many FTD commands just uh, detect the press press the button it will running always never stop and uh, just press the button it will be stopped and uh, I press again uh, so it will always running just you can let relay 1 is on, and delay time, and relay 2 is on, and delay time, and relay 2 is off, and relay 1 is off. Any FTD command, just as this logical to running. Okay, this is how to use the loop mode for the analog sensor and the temperature sensor. And also you can use many kinds of sensor for the logical controller. Okay, thanks for watching.